There are four main stages of fatty liver disease, and in today's video, I'll be explaining what happens at each stage. We'll cover questions like what goes on inside your liver, whether these changes can be reversed, and when the damage becomes permanent. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Dr. Khalid. I'm a family doctor from the UK. And before we dive into the first stage, I want to tell you something important. If left unchecked, fatty liver disease can progress from stage one to stage four over time. And at each stage, that progression can pose a greater risk to your health. On the positive note, because we like to be positive on this channel, most people won't get to stage four, and that progression can take many, many years. So the first stage is often referred to as a simple fatty liver. Medically, it's called steatosis. And this may be what most of you watching at home right now may have been diagnosed with. Your doctor might have done some routine blood tests and mentioned, oh, your liver function tests are up. You may have gone on and had an ultrasound and they may have seen some simple fat around the liver and your doctor probably told you to lose weight. And now you're probably searching YouTube and perhaps a bit more worried. If that sounds about right, then let me know in the comments below. To better explain this, I think what I'll do is use a analogy of an industrial factory um, because your liver is kind of a factory of the body it processes things you consume it filters out toxins and processes hormones it manages your energy supply now imagine lots of rubbish building up on your industrial factory so between the conveyor belts in the hallways on the factory floor at this early stage this isn't causing too much of a problem the output of the factory and the workers is still great. It's not really affecting that. And in real life, this buildup of fat doesn't cause any noticeable symptoms and is often discovered kind of accidentally during a blood test or a scan. It's like a quiet warning sign that your liver and your general health needs a closer look at. At this early stage, it is usually still reversible if we change our lifestyle and if we change our diet. Now, onto stage two. This is known as non-alcoholic steatohepatitis or NASH. And since the name generally has been changed for fatty liver disease, you may also see MASH as well, because it's more about metabolic issues going on. To break down all the medical jargon, steato means fat and hepatitis means inflammation of the liver. So fat causing inflammation and irritation of the liver. So in terms of our factory analogy, what we're beginning to see is that the factory and its workers are still working hard, and the output is still very, very good. But the clutter and the rubbish that's been building up is causing some accidents. Maybe people are slipping, falling over, injuring their back. They're needing to have some time off work. And so even with all of that, it's still maintaining a reasonable output, albeit a few HR problems at this stage. And so in real life, even with the inflammation of the liver, there is still an opportunity for the liver to heal. And at this stage, it's still, generally speaking, reversible. The liver is quite a regenerative organ. Now, over time, this ongoing irritation and inflammation of the liver may eventually cause scar tissue to form within the liver. This is called fibrosis. And when fibrosis first develops, often there are many other liver cells that continue to function quite well. The stage, in terms of our factory floor, it's so cluttered, there's so much rubbish, grease, KFC boxes everywhere, and it's a fire hazard. People have fallen, injured, and are back to work, but not quite fully working. You see, it's kind of like an Amazon warehouse slash factory. People are so injured that they're not able to do the jobs they used to do. So the whole factory begins to struggle a little bit more. At this stage, you might see the output drop a little bit, but and you may also see some signs that things are not quite right. But there are still enough uninjured employees to keep the factory open and keep production up. And thankfully, Bezos keeps paying the minimum wages for their efforts. Nice one. Generally speaking, at this stage, the liver is still able to heal itself, but we are now getting to a more serious stage because the stage after this, the final stage, and the most critical stage is called cirrhosis. This is a serious condition where the liver, the normal tissue and cells of the liver become so scarred that it starts to get replaced by scar tissue. If you look at the liver itself, it will be rough in texture. And in terms of our factory, um, the floor is all damaged. The machinery doesn't work. The factory workers who were injured are either on sick leave or they're back and not able to do the job they're you know, doing before. And the output of the factory is now greatly reduced. And eventually, it may shut down permanently. 
Severe cirrhosis can lead to liver failure. And unfortunately, this is a one-way street because once the cirrhosis sets in, you're normally not able to reverse it, but you may be able to slow it down as it progresses. And again, important lifestyle changes, making changes to your diet, losing weight, and your doctor can also sometimes give you medications that can slow down the progression of cirrhosis. Eventually, as the liver fails, a transplant may be needed. Remember, livers can get to this stage of cirrhosis through lots of different causes, so alcohol. Um, today, we're talking about fatty liver disease, so that's another one, and infections as well, things like hepatitis B and C. I would say the key take home for anybody with fatty liver disease is those early stages, though it may not be nice to hear that you have it, it may be a bit of a blessing because it's a warning shot. It wakes you up. It kind of jolts you and makes you make a change. Like there's a famous saying that goes, health is a crown that the healthy wear, but only the sick can see it. I rarely meet people in my clinic that say, doc, I want to reduce my chance of diabetes or high blood pressure or fatty liver disease without something triggering that thought. And it may be a loved one that's been diagnosed with it. It may be that they had a blood test that said they were pre-diabetic or that their blood pressure was a little bit high or that they were at risk of fatty liver disease. I think it's only human nature not to think of these things when you are well, but it's when we become unwell that it becomes our priority and our focus. And again, I really want to emphasize with the right changes to your diet, activity levels, sleep, you may be able to reverse things at so many of the stages that we've talked about. In our next week's video, I'll go through more details about what you can do to actually reverse fatty liver disease. And so if you wanna be the first to be informed when that video and videos like that come out, please hit the subscribe and bell. Wishing you a happy, healthy liver. See you on the next video.